31 book reviews in 31 days. Guys, day 27. We are back at middle grade fantasy in this book. Goodness, I'm just like, this book is not getting the hype it deserves because why are you guys not speaking about this beautiful book? And that is City of the Play God. Guys, this, I think it's literally kind of like one of a kind in the sense that I just haven't seen a book like it. I haven't seen a book or I haven't read a book that addresses or, you know, highlights this type of mythology and that is Mesopotamian mythology. I'm just like, wait a minute. I've not seen this. I'm sure the books are out there, but like you just don't see them highlighted. And I'm just like, it's so great. I got to kind of see like Mesopotamian gods and read about Gilgamesh. And I'm like, wow, you see, this is a book I can get into, like something that's new and fresh and just really, really fun. And to have an Iraqi main character, I'm just like, you see, this is what we mean when we say diversity, you know, like give me, give me a culture I'm not used to seeing and let me experience their culture and let me experience their world through this book. And this is what this book gave me. I loved it so much. Let me actually give you a rundown on what it's about. It's about a young boy named Thick. And let me just say this. This book starts off immediately kind of pointing out the biases against people of diverse backgrounds. And so immediately I was just like, oh, I love this book because they're definitely not going to hold back. I love it so much. But yeah, it's about Thick. And um, Thick is with his parents and they own like a mom and pop shop. And they're just kind of like, you know, they're wanting to experience the American dream and he's really just trying to fit in and just live his life especially because they've experienced a recent tragedy in their family and so he's going through a tough time it's recent it's it's not like you know a month ago recent but you know when pain hits that pain is going to be there for decades so I'm gonna say recent you know in in that kind of perspective so stick with me there so he's just going through life and one day these demons, I kid you not, these horrendous looking demons just pull up and attack him. And he's just like, wait a minute, what's going on? And they attack him because they think that he has something. And so obviously he dips out. But then they now unleash a plague in all of the city. And so the plague starts at his house and it spreads. Like it's literally spreading. And it's all his fault, technically. Or at least that's what the media are saying. Like it started from him. Da 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 da. -da. Once again, the bias. Um. And so he is now like just running amok trying to figure out one, what these demons want. How can I stop it? I just want to live my life. Stop this, stop this, stop this. And he now comes into contact with this old time, you know, Mesopotamian God and her adoptive daughter. And they're just like, yeah, so you are embroiled in this. You're going to have to help. He's just like, hmm. And this is one of the stories that I really enjoyed seeing this kind of side to a hero, the reluctant hero. Because in a lot of books, you know, they'll be like, you know what? Yes, I have to stop it. I started it. You know what? Or yes, I want to I wanna be in an adventure. Or if they start reluctant, they'll be like, I don't want to do this. But you know what? I realize I have to. Sick wasn't with it from beginning to end. He said, first of all, this don't involve me. Like, what did you get me involved in? Keep me out of this. Like, keep my name out your mouth type of energy. Like, they basically said, listen here, you're involved. And so he now goes on this wild adventure trying to stop or put an end to the plague god. And, yeah, it's just, it was so fun getting to experience um, Iraqi culture and getting to see, like, these new stories of these gods I've never heard of. I've ever had, like, any, like... Um, experience of learning about i was just like that was really really fun for me and one thing i like and i think uh, it really kind of hit me in my heartstrings is kind of this scene where they go to little egypt in their city and you kind of see how the community pulls together to support one another and i'm just like it, it i was just i relate so much because i'm just like immigrant communities that's how they are it's very much like you know we're a tight-knit community we got each other we'll always support each other when t times get tough don't you don't gotta worry about it like it'll be tough but we're tough or we're gonna get through it and i loved it i was just like one i got to you know see their foods and stuff like that but also just that love that inner you know that inner support like it's just super super amazing i loved it so much and there were like you know random shout outs to you know percy jackson that i liked i was just like this is super, super cute. And then I think one of the things I loved about this book is just how realistic it is. Let's be real. Like, it's just like, you don't always get what you want. And 
yeah the character dynamics in this book as well so so once again realistic but fun and it also showed that there are people who present themselves in one way but there are hidden depths to everyone so you really really shouldn't be judging books by their covers it was just great some people showed their inner hero like including sick and it's just like i'm rooting for you but then once again remember Sick is still going through a lot, like, because there's a plague that technically started with him, like, it's attacking people that he loves, he's all, he's all, he's still going through grief from, you know, his loss in his family, so he's still going through that, and one thing I will say is that this book, it didn't hold back any punches, it's just like, we will, we'll let you have fun, but we'll also tug at your heartstrings, and I just, I said, please, mercy, but this book, guys, do pick up City of the Plague God, it's just, it's just great. It's great, and I think if you are definitely one of those people who are just like, oh, I want something new. Even if you're not looking for something new, you need something new. You can't keep reading the same classic fate. I'm um, so sorry, you can't. At one point, get bored, you know? Explore, you know, discover something new. You won't regret it. It's just super fun to just go out, you know, venture out into the wild and see things and read things that you haven't seen and read before. Do it, and you won't regret it. <laughs> So yeah, do be sure to pick it up. And of course, I'll see you guys tomorrow as we get closer to the end of 31 Books in 31 Days. Bye!